This is a Grande Pacific production. I believe it was six bucks with deposit. With deposit. <laughs> <laughs> and boom, boom. Yeah, college, college town. This is John McBee's layout in Bella Vista, Arkansas. Mainly Denver Rio Grande at Topeka Santa Fe, uh, the Front Range. Uh, we go from uh, Denver up to Pueblo, some of the branch lines. This is an interesting, this railroad was significantly remodeled right lately. Not going to try to go into the detail on how it was changed, but some of the areas where they went into staging yards were done away with and the space was made into staging where it's back behind the scenery. So you have a town at the end, trains run here, service it. Then or train can come out from back behind the scenery and uh, do it. The background scenery was painted by a professional painter out of Dallas, Texas. Colorado Springs here has made a significant change. At one time, this used to come out substantially further and it was a long reach. It also got to be a reach problem up at the top with an upper level. So this lower level was shortened up. Uh, now this is uh, Colorado Springs and Denver staging. So you have a combination of both at Topeka Santa Fe and Rio Grande. Well, the passenger trains here today are actually belong to someone else for the most part. Same thing goes for up here. We're at uh, Canyon City, and there's the Canyon City power plant. And of course, if you went on past here, you'd be coming to the Royal Gorge. And in Canyon City, both ATSF and the Denver and Rio Grande both serviced industries. Oh, this is going under renovation. On the other side of the aisle, we have And this is Trinidad.
For all of you old time people who used to be here and understood the layout, this was where Alamosa was in the Alamosa branch up here along this wall. That's all been removed. believe how much this has changed. I have videos from the beginning. It's got a little bit of the blood I have in me, you know, hey. Okay, this was fun. Let's change it around, you know. Try something different. Yeah. A lot of people can't understand that, you know. And that part right there that you just went through, that yeah, was a. Didn't you have? Were you, yeah. Did you force to duck under? Yeah. With that. Left? No, none. He sold all his trains and equipment because I told him I didn't. I wasn't that rich. So you have to come in here now, and run around this room to get back over here. So it made the main line run longer. And this is. Uh, the MP yard in Pueblo. Was it in Missouri Pacific and then the world famous Mr. Jim Laughlin's donation to the Champion Meat Company. This is Pueblo staging here, ATSF yard. No, Denver staging, this is the ATSF yard, and this is the Denver Rio Grande yard. I'm sorry, get this right.
This is another Jim Laughlin construction job. We even have a whole bunch of little cattle. out on the road at 75 mile an hour. It's mostly aerodynamics, well and weight. Well I had the uh, shell on the back which made it a but good envelope. The envelope, but still the front end of most trucks. Is... This wasn't that bad though. Yeah.